We manufacture and sell plant-based skincare products right here in our store, and the proceeds benefit the homeless community locally. So everything is all natural and safe, and it also has a better and a bigger cause. I have dermatitis and I went to doctors, went to lots of appointments and getting testing and all these things and just couldn't find any results. So I started making my own products so I could know what was in them. And then from there, it just kind of grew. My friends and family wanted to use the products and try them and I told them, well, you could buy them. Then I would use the funds to support our meal that we were feeding to the homeless community. So it just kind of grew and I came up with the name Hope Soap and here we are. Every month we serve a hot meal on the last Saturday of the month in downtown Akron and we serve anywhere from 100 to 300 people that are experiencing homelessness. We help them find jobs by writing resumes for them. We do career development things like um, free classes and we now are offering employment opportunities for those who are experiencing homelessness right here in our store to help us manufacture and different things like that to help them build their resume. We do interview practicing, we give clothes away for their interviews, and we try to bridge, um, fill in all the gaps where other organizations might be missing to help them find employment and get back on their feet. In addition to that, for every item that we sell, we give a bar of our handmade soap to someone who's experiencing homelessness. The soap is based with a sustainable palm oil. We're not tearing down anyone's home. Um, we also use coconut and olive oil to make all the base of our soaps and then we use natural essential oils and we have some fragrance options as well but they are safe uh, fragrances that we use. We have a, a whole line of moisturizers, body butters, we have different lotions and creams and we have a whole line of face care from toners to um, face creams to face washes for all different skin types. We have hair care, we have shampoo bars, um, we're into sustainability so we have shampoo bars that's equivalent to two bottles of shampoo so you're saving two bottles. Uh, it's much safer for your hair, it's sulfate free. We even make pet care products, we make a sulfate free pet shampoo. With every one of those we sell we donate one of those to a local dog shelter. Uh, we have products for your home, room sprays, um, a lot of refillable products. Also on our soap, uh, the bands that are wrapped around them are plantable, so if you put them in the ground they grow wildflowers, so we try to be waste free. And all of our bottles can be returned back to the store to be recycled here, or they can be refilled for a discounted price. We have two lines of candles. One is called Witty Lit Candles, and it's kind of like funny, witty quotes that are a lot of fun, like 90s mom, and it smells like cucumber, melon. We have one called Target Run, and it's cucumber and mint. Uh, we also have candles that are manufactured by those who are experiencing homelessness and they're made out of recycled beer bottles. So the local bars are giving us their used beer bottles. We sanitize them, we cut them, and we turn them into candles and those are called Hoppy Hope candles, which help uh, create employment opportunities for those who are experiencing homelessness. We offer classes every Friday night. We have our fragrance bar and you can come and make a custom product. You can make a body scrub, um, a lotion, a bath bomb. There's a whole variety of products and we can bring up to, you can bring up to six people at a time. We book private parties too. A lot of people have their birthday parties here um, or bachelorette parties. We've hosted all those things, but on Friday nights, it's kind of open to the public and just walk in and come make a custom product. We should be using things that are safe on our skin. We should be reading the ingredients. We should know what we're putting on our skin. If you wouldn't eat it, then it shouldn't go on your skin as well. 